What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today, we're going to focus in on uh, Vladimir Tarasenko, the St. Louis Blues' top prospect and one of the top ten prospects in all of hockey. Um, you know, playing his trade right now at the SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL. Uh, went 16th overall in 2010. Uh, St. Louis acquired that trade, acquired that pick in a trade for the Ottawa Senators that sent uh, David Runeblad to Ottawa. Um, this year, got traded. He was originally with... Uh, Novo, Novo Sibrisk, Siberia, Novo Sibrisk, Siberia, uh, where he had 38 points in 39 games, and then uh, 9 points in 15 games with uh, St. Petersburg, and then 16 points in uh, 15 playoff games with St. Petersburg. You know, I was out in uh, Siberia for, for four years. Um, you know, had 10 points his first year out there at 16. Uh, improved, you know, every year was out there, and, uh, you know, his father was a great player in Russia, and, uh, you know, Vladimir looks to, you know, be a, one of the great Russian players in the NHL. It's pretty, you know, pretty versatile forward. Has no glaring weaknesses according to NHL scouts, which is obviously a big thing. Prototypical uh, Russian right wing, you know, lefty side, le lefty shooting Russian right wing. Uh, you know, really opens up well for one time. Whereas, you know, you look at the the off wing. That's one thing Russians pride Russian hockey uh, prides itself on. You look at Pavel Bore as a right winger and his righty sh and a lefty shot. Ovechkin's a left winger with a and you know Kovalchuk until this year was a left winger. Um, you know it's the Russian school of thought is to have the off wing to open yourself up for uh, a slap shot and uh, you know really and I can attest to this from my playing days. Um, you know really opens up the ice. You really see everything better with uh, your stick on the off side, obviously. Um, Hopefully St. Louis can get him to come over this year. I'm really, really excited to see what he can do. He's proven what he can do in the KHL. I want to see what he can do in the best league in in the world. Um, you know, St. Louis has got some really intriguing young players. Him, Jaden Schwartz, another one that's uh, really gonna do a lot of great things. You know, go along with the T.J. Oshies, Patrick Berglunds. Uh, you know, guys like that in the NHL already. Um, you know, I, I think he's gonna be. He has the upside to be an 80, 90 point a year guy that puts up impressive numbers. And uh, has true superstar potential. I think he's the one forward in St. Louis's organization that has superstar potential. You look at the teams in their division. You know, Detroit's got superstars. Chicago's got superstars. Columbus has well, I mean, Rick Nash. <laughs> you know, that's it. But uh, St. Louis really doesn't have that bona fide stud forward. Um, you know, they got some really, really, really good forwards, but they don't have a, a elite. You know, I love David Bax as much as the next man, but this kid will be a, a dominant forward in the NHL for years to come. And uh, I'll really light it up, once, I think, once he gets over here. Um, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Vladimir Tarasenko, uh, St. Louis Blues' top prospect. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.